The next project on Roaches to Wrenches will be a 2008 Cadillac CTS all-wheel drive. It came from the factory with a 304 horsepower, 3.6 liter, direct injected, naturally aspirated V6. As I'm sure most of you know, the 2008 model was the first year of the second generation CTS. And at the time of its release, this car was critically acclaimed due to its phenomenal exterior styling, luxurious interior, and excellent handling. The six-speed automatic transmission is quick, smooth, and very responsive. Uh, but despite its excellent performance, this is not an enthusiast car. That status is obviously reserved for the much more powerful and much more expensive CTS-V. Um, but speaking of price, this car had an MSRP of 36,000 US dollars, which is about 48,000 today. One thing most of you don't know, especially if you've been a viewer for less than a couple years, is that this is not the first, but the fourth Cadillac CTS I've owned. However, I am excited for this particular one because it's the first Gen 2 I've had. All the previous ones were first gens. Unlike the majority of the global car market, I love luxury sedans, and this one is no exception. It's definitely towards the top of its class, and it was actually Motor Trend's car of the year in 2008. But switching gears a little bit, I saw this car on Facebook Marketplace, the previous owner was driving when all of a sudden it died on him. So he posted it for sale asking 4000 which was way too much considering it most likely needed a new engine in addition to the labor involved. So I got him down to 1800 which was still a little more than what I would have liked to pay. Normally the going rate for this type of caddy with a bad engine is between 1000 to 1500 bucks, But with inflation and the car market, things have changed. So that's it. I paid $1,800 for the car, spent another $200 for a truck and trailer to get it home, and that's about all I want to get into for now. In the next episode, we'll be diagnosing the issue with the engine and figuring out where to go from there. So please stay tuned. This was one of the most arduous mechanical projects I've taken on. It required quite a bit of ingenuity to get things going in the right direction. So... If that interests you, or you've enjoyed watching me do work in the past, you're going to love this video series. But that's going to be all for now. As always, I'm grinding. I hope you all are doing the same. You all stay strong, stay healthy, and stay inspired. I'm out. God bless.